So I was just mining quartz and gold inside the nether when I got this very weird message from King. And what's even weirder was that he was in the voice chat as well. And that's when I saw the image. He had gotten netherite inside of the game. I knew that I had to stop playing these childish games and I had it up to some actual gear. Enchanted and all this stuff. So in the next three episodes, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go and get full netherite tools and armor. Zombie apocalypse. Now, in order for us to get stacked inside the game, we're going to need one of these bad boys. And that's going to be the Zombie Pigman Farm. And now, how this works is that Zombie Pigman, I like, have, like, a percentage where they're able to actually, you know, to, um, spawn a Zombie Pigman. Which, we should see one coming soon. See right there? They spawn in from just open a portal. So what this thing does is that it makes a whole bunch of these zombie pigments all together so then we can so then we can then harvest their souls when they fall down that pit of doom. And don't worry about them, they'll just push each other sooner or later. But as you can see, they do spawn in any random things and this is the most effective way to go and get a ton of XP, especially how this one could be like made multiple times rather than those huge ones that YouTubers be doing inside of the nether above the bedrock borders. Okay, now to do this type of farm from oh, MC Plays or PC Plays or something like that, he made this type of farm and required all these items, except I'm kind of missing some obsidian. So all we need to do is just seal a deal with a client who actually has the obsidian. Okay, hey King. So, Hello. you got this stuff. Hey, back up, back up, back up. We don't want any, we don't want this to turn to a squaffle. Back up. Sit back up. Shoot. Back up. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Back up. Back it up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look, I have your diamonds. I have your diamonds. Do you have a back up? Do you have the obsidian? Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm throwing the diamonds over here. Three, two, one. There we go. We got a stack in four more. Wait, you gave me four more than... Okay, whatever. That was... No, oh, no, he's coming back. He's coming back. Oh my gosh. I gotta go. I gotta go. Diamonds. You gave him lapis instead. I didn't give him a lapis. Nothing. Oh my gosh. Back away. Why are you chasing me? Use the bow, dude. Maybe that'll teach him a lesson. Back away, please. Back away. It doesn't even do half my hearts. It only does one and a half hearts. My gosh, why? What? What? What is this? What is this rivalry? You just shot an arrow. Thank you. I just want to eat food. Stop. Back away. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. It's gonna take you a long time. Get away! <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, You're gonna make me you use my. He wasted the obsidian. My obsidian. <laughs> Why are you trying to kill me? My god. Yeah. Why is there just a floating arrow here? Take it. X. I can't even take it. Okay, now after that rough thing, you know what? Let's just go ahead and start building this. Okay, so we're going to be building already, you guys already know, the Zombie Pigment Overworld version farm by PC Plays, I believe. And this is all the things that we're going to be need to make this. And I've just finished sealing the deal with this obsidian. So that means that now I can, you know, build the entire thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our cobblestone, we're going to grab our obsidian, we're going to be grabbing two observers just for now, a dispenser, and we're going to grab, you know, the flint steel, and that's all we're going to need for right now. This rest of this stuff is going to be quite, is going to be like, you know, later. 
Oh, we're also going to need a water bucket. I forgot about that. So, all we're going to do right now is we're going to be building a 15 by 15 portal. And and that's going to, you know, spawn our, our zombie pigments in. So, let's go up like five. And then we're going to, you know, take a little bit of fall damage real quick. And then we're going to go out 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That way we have 15 all across. Use this water bucket to get up. And then we're going to cover this entire section with obsidian. Then we're going to go 14 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Go, I'll go this way. 14. Guess what happened? Your hunger, your your heart just went up and you only had one minus hunger. Okay, so we're going to have to drop down real quick so we can get to that final block down there. Ow, I completely failed that, but you know who cares. And there we go. I got a little bit of extra obsidian that I probably did not need. But we're going to just put that there for the side. We're going to use this water and hopefully we can make it. Come on, let's make it. Yes, sir. We did it. Okay. And now... What we're going to do is we're going to try to figure out which side is the zombie pigmen spawn. Because they all spawn through the portal. But which side do they naturally spawn off of? I already know they fall off from this side. But if you guys wanted to know how to do that. Um, what you want to do is you want to get up. You want to get up whichever way. You can block up and all that stuff. I'm going to use a water bucket. And you're just going to go up to any side. Since I know it goes that way. I'm going to go one, two, three. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to get your observers, you're going to make the arrows, well that's, you want to make the arrows pointing away from each other. So, you know, let me go one more block out. One, so that way you got one arrow facing that way, and one arrow facing that way. It makes an infinite loop, which you don't have to do all those entire redstone mechanics to make the infinite loop. And we're going to get a dispenser. Placing it should start going crazy like that. We're going to make... We're going to make this, and then once we place the water bucket inside, this should automatically place this, which actually destroys the portal. Then we'll go onto here, and then we'll spam the portal. And see where the zombie pigment spawns. There we go, see? It spawns naturally, it falls into that side. You can go ahead and kill that zombie pigment now. I completely... Okay, there we go. So now we're going to we're going to get back up whichever way you do. We're going to now wait, wait, wait. This take this water bucket out so we can stop. Dude, I'm trying to take you. Already did it. No oh, gosh. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make this so then it can, you know, turn it on and off cuz you know, this water being here, it's kind of annoying. So that's why we're going to go ahead and grab we're going to grab our next set of tools that we're going to need. We're no longer going to need the obsidian and and, and uh, flint and steel. Now we're going to need a water bucket. We're going to need our building blocks. Some glass. We're going to need... And yeah, just going to need a glass, building blocks. We're going to need our piston and our lever now. This is... The piston and lever is going to be able to turn it on and off. And I'm going to get my water to get up. And we're going to place a block. Nope, that's not how you do it. That's still not how you do it. Why is it not placing it right? There you go. And then we're going to place a lever onto the side. Which will then push it to stop, you know, stop the entire loop that's going on. We'll click it again and we'll continue the loop. So we're going to turn that off for right now. And now we're going to use our... We're going to use these blocks come off to the side and we're actually going to build the entire thing that they're going to you know fall in to so we're going to go so we're going to make it so then go down we're going to go five blocks wait a second let me go down one more one two three four five go down again one two three four five six seven eight and they should be able to be right here right in the middle that's when they should the, this should go so right now we're going to you know place our blocks you know we can stop it from falling to the side i'm placing this just because of design purposes you can design it to whatever way you want 
I'm gonna get up again. I don't know what the heck's going on, but let me get up again. And we're going to now use our glass. Now this part right here, it's kind of important, so we're going to just go up. Just three more times. That way it's a bit higher than it really is. And we're going to use the glass, that way we can kind of see those guys fall in and stuff like that. Pretty fun. Oh, wait, I was going to break that, but there's no need. All the way over to here, which we would place our other blocks. So we'll make it even, you know. Let's get our other set of blocks. That's even, right? I believe so. Whatever. It's We can see if it's even once we finish this glass. Right across. Right across. Um, for some reason, I'm one short on glass. It's really weird. We're just going to leave that open for now. And we got to use... We got to get through here, but it's, um, when we place this water bucket, nevertheless, it should stop right at the edge, right here. Nope, see, I messed up. You see that? I forgot. We got to block all this stuff here, too. So let's get back in here real quick. And so now, when I place this water bucket, it should stop right at the edge. Hmm. Maybe I miscalculated real quick. There we go. That's what it should do. It should stop right there. Yeah, I miscalculated just a tiny bit. And we're going to make it so that it all goes inside the hole right here. Let's make it go two down real quick. And then let me go to sleep. This is how the base should look. And now we're going to make it so then the portal can now be ignited. To do this part, we're going to now grab our lava, our six trap doors, our cobblestone, and our last five observers. Okay, to do this part, um, you just have to go up two blocks and you have to go that way. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to place that block and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to grab our last, our last repeater. I didn't mean to place that there. I'm sorry. Whatever. That one should have been saved. It should have been four that way. And then use our last, our last observer onto here, which should make it go like that. An endless loop should be playing now to this side. Yes, it is. And we're going to use these extra blocks here. So then we can make like a little bit of a chamber for this. Let's place up, let's fix up the sides and leave this side open. And we're going to use our six trap doors or just, just this. And then we're going to open them all up. Now this part right here, I cannot explain how this works or why this works. But for some reason, it ignites the portal. I don't really know why I'm guessing what I'm guessing the reason why it ignites the portal is because maybe it's trying to set the trap doors on fire but they're not really able to be set on fire that's my prediction but what it but we have the portal turned on nevertheless and now when we go click this lever it will then break the portal and it should start opening it up that's odd Let's turn it off real quick. There we go. I think I broke. I think by placing it on top, that's what messed it up. Um, I'm going to go. Now when I were to turn this lever on. There we go. That's what it is. So just don't touch the top. Don't place it on top. Maybe this is a glitch. I don't know why. But it should be turning on and off just like this. And they should all be falling into a hole right here. But for this, now for the sake of this next part, we're going to go ahead and just turn this off. That way, and we're going to kill these guys in here. I'm not going to use my sword, and I'm just going to use his axe. Nope, we're going back to the sword. Okay, as you can see, I got a little bit of XP from that. And a gold ingot. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to dig down from the two we have here. We're just going to dig down about, let's say, 18 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then we're going to go forward about three. We're going to go up now. This is just so then we can get out of here. I forgot the ladders that were inside the chest, but that's what we're going to need. Okay, so now that we have that, that hole dug up and everything, we should now have them take out the hoppers, our two chests, our torch, and our ladders. And now we're going to finish the last part. We're just going to go down this way. I have my ladders, right? Yes, I have my ladders. We're going to mine down here. You could have just taken the ladders with you, but um, I thought this might be faster. To me, it's still faster. But what we're going to be doing here is something that JC Place is not really done. We're going to now place this hopper, and we're going to now see the the amount of limit it is where they die. You know, their fall damage. So we're going to turn this portal on and see if they die when they fall down. So let's hurry up and get back into this hole here. Don't place down your chest yet because we're still trying to test it. So they fall down and they take damage here. So, and how much is it to kill them? Let's grab one of their swords, regular sword. Yes, this is where we want them to, this is where we want it to be. We want it to where you can one shot them with their own swords. And then we're just going to make a chest down here. Just a simple chest. Place that one torch up for before, just for light. And now there it is. That's all you need. There's nothing pretty much else to it. You can now place, you know, the trap door. This will basically stop those little kids from running through it. But there we go. Just look at the amount of XP we're getting. And all that extra loot is just falling into this thing right here. And look. Swords and all that stuff. Look at that. I got a knockback 2, sharpness 3, unbreaking 3. Not that anybody would ever like care for gold swords and stuff like that. But some of these enchantments are pretty good. And if you get a sword with looting or something like that, you would get even more. And that is it for our farm. You could just be AFK for like 10 minutes and get a whole bunch of these guys. And the possibilities are pretty much endless. Like, what if you were to do the exact same thing you did over here, but over here. And connected it together. And then now you have two. Two of them coming from this way that way. Or what if I were to make a whole line of these? A whole line coming this way. Like another one here and another one there and another one there and another one there. You get tons of XP in just 10 minutes. But um, let me just renovate this just a little bit. Just to see if we can make this look nicer. Pretty cool. Gave gave it, um, you know, a ladder or whatever. And there we have it. We have where I upgraded to three. Oh, get out the way, cat. What the heck? No, I didn't mean to hit you. So Kiko needs fish. But now, I've increased it to three different ways. I mean, instead of one, there really was no point into doing that. But now I made it so that now you can make it into, like, you know, a nice XP farm. Um, you'll see what that lever does in a second. I'm almost done putting gold so then no one can destroy it. Go inside the a chest if you need to put a little bit of storage for a little while. This is the maintenance room. This is just for me. And this is where it all works. So basically... We already know there's a ton of swords in here and stuff like that. This would be allowing me to, you know, grab all the gold that that we get from here, and all these extra swords we don't need will be put will be put into this hopper that will be put into this dispenser, ready to be tossed right into the lava. That's what this lever will do. This lever will then activate will then activate this, and they can start tossing them all into the lava. Which I picked up a few by just getting to that little area. And it's really effective for clearing out the chest from all these, you know, these random swords. As you can see. As you can see, this one is, you know, taking it, but it's it's kind of dropping it faster than it can, you know, whatever. And there we go, that is it. That's it for the farm, and now I can... But that's it. That's it for the farm. I'm level 30 now. 
Okay, now that I have all these 30 levels, I was able to make this super duper OP sword. I am talking about, I'm talking about fire aspect, I'm breaking sharpness and all that stuff. And I even got to make this pickaxe, which got silk touch. And that's all this XP was just from the farm. Okay, guys, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you like the video. Subscribe and like. And hopefully, later on, we can probably get out of this ugly iron armor and move on to the diamond and netherite. Thank you again for watching. Bye.